Alright, what I'd like to go ahead and do with you guys now is give you some, uh, what I would like to consider moves, tricks, or combos. Any of these things that you're gonna see in the future lessons, they're moves, tricks, or combos. And they're things that I like to stick in routines. Uh, I believe they're really cool looking patterns and I'm gonna teach you some concepts. Uh, what we're gonna do today is polyrhythms and reverse same time opposite direction. And then I wanna move on to pendulum play and how you can go with either hand on top in a pendulum into any of the four combinations of direction and timing, which is a very, 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 very useful movement. Um, there's hundreds of moves that you can find out of that uh, pendulum that goes into all the four combinations of direction and timing. Okay. Okay, one last thing before we begin to minimize some confusion. I want to bring up the model again because I will reference to it throughout the lesson. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. The center star represents you and the numbers around it represents your arms or hand placement. The two main planes are the A plane and B plane. A for audience, B for behind. The inner wall planes are used during buzz saws and other movements, which I will discuss in later lessons when we use them. The lines, also known as tracks, help with plane control and overall form. I use this model as a visualization tool to help understand movements, and I hope that it can do the same for you. Let's resume the lesson, shall we? Reverse same time opposite direction polyrhythms on the A plane. Polyrhythm is a term taken from music that defines a rhythm that makes use of two or more different rhythms simultaneously. In poise spinning, polyrhythms is referring to the use of two different orbit timings. One hand is counting its downstrokes as one, two, while the other hand makes a larger orbit, but for one downstroke. To execute this move more easily, make sure that you can do a reverse thread the needle before jumping into these drills. Notice my hand that makes the larger circle goes under the hand that spins twice. So whatever hand is on top is going to be the hand that extends into the larger circle. If you were to perform this movement in a forward thread the needle, the opposite is true, where the hand on bottom is going to extend into the larger circle. Reverse same time opposite direction polyrhythms on the B plane. This may look hard, but is just as easy as the first. There are two differences between this drill and the last drill. The first is the extending hand now goes to the B plane instead of staying on the A plane. And the second is this movement uses both wall planes. The hand spinning twice is on the B plane, while the hand making the larger circle is on the A plane. When both poi are on their way down is where they switch wall planes and exchange patterns. Reverse same time opposite direction polyrhythms wrapping to the A plane. The most difficult part of this move is having to speed up the hand that is spinning twice, even more so than in the previous movements. The first downstroke is on the B plane, and the second is on the A plane. The poi then comes back to the B plane and around to the A plane, where it becomes the extending hand in the pattern. This next pattern is my favorite of the reverse same time opposite direction polyrhythms in this lesson. Reverse same time opposite direction 360 polyrhythms. Okay, so in this 360 polyrhythm, you can see that I am doing the 360 to my right, and my left hand is the one doing the extension. So whatever direction you are turning your body, the opposite hand is extending. Pay attention to the footwork involved as well. I pivot my foot 90 degrees before driving my other leg up and torque it to the direction I am turning. This up force is what puts my spinning foot on its ball, and the torque that you give it will spin you on the ball of your foot the rest of the 270 degrees to complete the move. Take note of which poi are on what planes to make the move easier to understand. Pendulums into any of the four combinations of direction and timing. I want to start off with a pendulum drill that I believe will help with any of the pendulum moves taught in this lesson. 
All you do to execute this drill is spin one poi in position 3 on the center star, and the other poi alternates from position 1 and 3 with a complete pendulum in both positions. You will notice that this drill is one big polyrhythm. Every complete pendulum, that is, two complete side stalls, the other poi that is not doing the pendulum is spinning twice. You will also notice that when the poi ball that is doing the pendulum travels through the middle of your body, the other poi is meeting this poi in the middle of your body at the very top of its upstroke. Drill this movement with the right hand and the left hand. Right hand on top into split time same direction. Right hand on top into same time, same direction. Right hand on top into same time opposite direction. You will notice in this slow motion clip that there are two variations displayed. The first where the red poi completes a circle on position one of the center star and then drops into same time opposite direction. The other variation is where it does not make a circle but drops to the side into same time opposite direction. Right hand on top into split time opposite direction. Left hand on top into same time opposite direction. Left hand on top into same time, same direction. Left hand on top into split time, same direction. Variation 1. And variation 2. Left hand on top into split time, opposite direction.
Okay, so in this move, you can see that I start it by doing an orbital. And I pull it tight. And when it gets above my head, I pull it a little bit tighter as it goes behind my head. And finally, I give it one more tug so I can separate them. And then once they get separated, I'd immediately go into a horizontal spiral wrap into another horizontal spiral wrap. It comes down and it goes into the matrix move. When it comes back up, you do a four beat corkscrew on top, finally coming down into a horizontal orbital. Give it a tight tug and then just pull it around your head. That concludes this video lesson. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. I have much more to show you.